Hello guys and girls and welcome to the next episode of City Skyline here in Sipper Green Tea City. Did you see that person on the bike? <laughs> Jump <laughs> from one building to another. Go back and watch it if you didn't see it. They jumped down onto the platform. Very freaky. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is uh, the area that we worked on last time. Our tourism, uh, no, our leisure area. Just been enjoying the trains coming and going here at the front and i've been sort of looking around my city and thinking how can we make it easier for people to get to this area the bike by the way was here and he jumped over here and <laughs> went down to there weird so we built this here uh, this is all uh, leisure stuff this is next to our tourism area on the other side of the river we've got more work and stuff to do here but we'll get to that um but yeah the only way people that actually live this side of the river can get there i mean they've got the ferries which they can go uh, on obviously they're moving around like this um and then they've got the train line and at the moment what they have to do with the train line let's just go this way say they live here they're either going to drive all the way there or they're going to jump uh you know come down here and then get a ferry across or if they wanted to get the train we've got like train line down here that one goes all the way wiggity wiggity all the way around here and joins up with our main uh train hub over here which would then split off come around here go across this way go up over there and then go into here so yeah a bit of a long way around. I was thinking, can we sort of maybe make that a bit easier? So what I'm going to do is try and run a line from here. We've got these. We've got like three platforms left. Um, get one of those to come down to over this way. Hello, we're back. I don't know what's going on there. My game was using 99% of my GPU, which is really weird. So I just uh, reloaded the save and it's back to being fine again. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is expand a little bit off of here and add like an extra little train station in. Um, for people that want to go to the leisure area and to the tourism area and to the other side rather than try and You know split off this rail here and make you know it, It'd be whole scale changes to this area over here, which I really don't want to do so And we've, we've had this little roundabout here since I don't know what episode <laughs> this little junction And I want to do something with it. So let's see what we can do here. It's only a small little street um, but let's build off of this and see where it takes us. That's always the fun thing, isn't it? Just see what happens. And so let's build this out a bit. I'm thinking about having it just sort of run along the back here. I mean, it's not always a good idea to have junctions right by a roundabout. So instead of doing that, how about we have the junction just a little bit further along? And we just do something interesting like that. And we can stick a park in there. And it just brings it back a little bit further. Why not? And then we can stick... What have we got here? Small playground. Park with trees. Oh, we went back a little bit further. Oh, actually, that one had fit in. What's that one there? A large playground. I need some more parks. These little parks that you just place down. If you've got any good parks that are that sort of size. Uh, this sort of design, you know. Just a park with trees. Nothing particular about them. Link in the comments, because I'd love to go and check them out. Because apart from those sort of three or four, I don't have a huge amount uh, park-wise. So what I might go for is... Yeah, it's just not big enough, is it? We'll go for two of those. Just because. There we go. Kiddies playgrounds, but it's got lots of trees and things. That's fine. And then we're going to have our train station. I'm wondering whether this could hook up to down here as well. There's like a little back street, another way to get through. Will that go through there? And of course, there's a blimmin' leg in the way. <laughs> well, we can do something about that, can't we? Because we have the moving mod. So if I grab that, can I just move that? Yes, I can. So, shame I can't grab it from the top, but I can grab it from there. So if we sort of put that in the centre over there... Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? And that's the only one. Yep, good. So that's the only one that's there. We should be able to come through to the other side. Oh, it's still just hitting it. Okay, that's fine. Let's manoeuvre that along. Sorry if I sound a bit like I'm full of cold. I'm full of cold. There we go. Let's move that along. So not much I can do about that. There we go. That should be it. Yeah, excellent. So if we sort of bring that to there... Maybe back a tiny bit. 
darn it. Now I've lost my road connection. Come on. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to sort of curve that round a touch. Actually, maybe there works. And then if we go like that. Perfect. There we go. I mean, it's not the busiest roundabout ever, but that should work. How are we doing on there? Yep. Doing good. So you've got a nice little back street connection to that. Uh, this one here, could that connect up anywhere else? I mean, we've got... This road along here... I don't want to start messing around with this bridge, but I bet we could sort of squidgy that through there somehow. Let's go to there. Let's sort of go to there and then bring it around like that. Yeah, why not? There we go. So we've got another little back route connection there. Excellent. Right, let's get our train station in. Let's have a look which one uh, we are going to use. So, we've got some different ones here. We've got the Boutelia station. I quite like that one. I mean, that's got the way that comes in and out both sides. Let's just turn that on and off and then we can see it. Which, I mean, that could go here. And that would be a fantastic access both directions. Hmm... I'm wondering whether, actually, that would look quite good there, wouldn't it? And that sort of hangs out over the road as well. Is that a bit weird? I feel like it should be further away from the road, but... Because, I mean, have you got any buses or lorries? Are they going to fit under that? I think they're going to struggle, aren't they? <laughs> it does, does go over the road. Let's just... Yeah, let's put it there. I think that'll work fine. So we've got... Four either... Oh, it's like dug it right down into the flipping... There. Well, that's okay. We can smooth this out a bit. Yeah, it's sort of below the ground, isn't it, that one? I didn't realise it was going to do that, but that's okay. We can go with it. Uh, if we take out the level terrain, let's just close that out of the way. Brush strength, pretty low. Brush size, not that big. And then we'll right-click there and then left-click to smooth this out. I'm just going a little bit bigger. Sort of smooth out the dip a bit. Huh. Just on this side. And that will go down anyway once we put a, a train line in there. So let's just chuck a train line in. There we go. And there we go. So let's just have a look at that. Yeah, I don't mind that. That looks good. That's sort of coming up a bit. I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. And we're going to make it stay low. If I can. No, because it's going to dig into the tunnel. Well, let's dig that out a bit more then. This bit here. So if we right click there to get the level and then left click. There we go. Page up. Nope, page down. There we go. And then that can go up. Work its way out there. Good, and we can sort of work on that other side another time. But this one here, this is the one I want to work on. So, if we have that go up this side, hmm, this is going to be the difficult bit, getting the rail from there to connect over here. Um, at some point, I will want a rail that disappears up this way. So, I'm thinking here, I do need some sort of junction. Which, every time I use one of these, there's always three or four people, Oh, you're using them wrong! It's like, that. Nah, I don't care. I'll put them in and they're fun. So we're going to need, <laughs> not one of those, we're going to need, let's have a look, let's have a look. Where's all the train junctions gone? Man, my voice is getting deeper by the second. This one here, train trumpet interchange. So we're going to get, it's going to be a three-way interchange, but, I mean, down here would be perfect if it went on the water, and <laughs> if that wasn't so steep. Huh. Although it could go up here. And then that rail could come up and connect to that. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Let me just think about this for a sec. Well, I, as I was just sort of moving it around, it just placed itself here. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. And it's gone in there quite happily. So we could have the rail come across here and then curve round up to there. I think that could be interesting. Why don't we go with the flow? Let's go with that. Today is a go with a flow day. 
Uh, let's come straight across and see where we end up. So we're going to end up hitting the tram. The tram. The ferry depot. So let us just pause a minute and we're going to move that along. Uh, okay, let's delete that, that, and that. Let's move that. Oh, okay, let's go there. That should be fine. Let's hook this road up again. That is two-lane gravel road. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, and let's put that ferry route back in. That's a blimp. There we go. There we go. We're on pause. Everybody's happy again. Has that got electricity going to it? Just. Excellent. Okay, so then this rail... Should be able to go straight across... Huh, let's see what's going on here. Let's go to there. Go page up and go across. What's going on? Oh, it's just not quite high enough. So let's go back a couple of spots. Let's go page up there. <clears throat> yes, that will go across. Straight would be nice. There. Huh, I'm wondering whether just to lift the whole thing up because obviously, yeah. Boats are not going to get under there, are they? There we go. That's better. I've started it from all the way across there, so that's worked out much better. So let's see if we can get these to connect up. If we take... We'll take our wiggly line. I think that should end up levelling out on here. Oh, that's gone a bit weird. Let's try that again. If we go straight and curve that and go page down. I want that all the way down. There we go. Level onto there. Excellent. And then we can curve that around to connect up with this. So let's go straight down here. Yep, and then we'll curve that around. Let's see where the line's coming in. Yep, to alongside that. There it is. Perfect. There we go. So that's curved along there. Up over the bridge and connected to there. Right, so we, <laughs> we need to now connect this... To one of these. Um, yeah. Let's just unpause a minute. and uh, So we've got this one here that can run along the coast. And then head off up somewhere else. Which will be quite nifty. Um, in fact we could put that in. While I procrastinate about not uh, getting that other one working. Slope too steep. Oh I see. Look there's some sort of weird stuff going on there. Let us get this level here. And sort of level that out. In fact I'm going to delete that little bit off the end there. There we go. And then that can sort of follow along the coast. Uh, let's turn off those. There we go. There's a lovely coastal railway down in Devon that I used to go on quite a lot. Visited my grandparents in a little town called Dawlish. That runs right along the coast. Something like that. And it was always great fun as you went across. Seeing all the boats and the things and the sea. So I think that's a, that's a cool little feature we'll work on as the city grows. So, what are we going to do here? I mean, if we can get it to go underground, down here, loop around underground, and then come up and connect up to this, that would just be a miracle. Yeah, I can hear you saying it. Um, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to hook onto there. And we're going to go underground and see what we can do. So, is that hooked on okay? Yes, it has. So then if we stay underground, hmm, let's actually see if we can get this bit down here first. So if we connect up to this one, let's put all our guides and things back on. That's going to go straight. And it's going to go straight down. There we go. And then I'm hoping we can just curve this around. Let's make it a bigger curve. There we go, like that. To connect to this. Yeah, that needs to change that angle there, doesn't it? Let's do that again. For some reason it's going to take out those houses. If we do that first and then that. Oh, yeah, we've got it. Fantastic. And then what we can do is... Let's just sort this bit out here. If we do that and go down, will that take out the extra, extra high lump? Yes, it will. And then we've got to manoeuvre this around a little bit so this connects up. So let's have a little play with that. 
locked at the moment. It's not. Go on, game. You can do it. There we go. So that disappears into the hillside. That goes underneath here. And then comes up over there. Do you know what? That is pretty good. And we've even got room there. If we need to add another rail... Oh, what's happened to my... Uh... Oh, darn it. You've removed my footbridge. There's even room here. We could move this along a bit and connect one of these up to here, like we've got here, for two lines going in. So, you know, in the future, if we need to do that, we can. Are you now not able to go across here for some reason? All right, let's put anarchy on. Yep. There we go. Perfect. And we're back in the room. Good. Oh, I'm pleased with that. That's actually worked out better than I thought. Very good, very good. So then we want... Let's grab this here. We want a root. Yeah, you're complaining about that. We'll sort you out in a minute. All the way across here. Whoosh, through there. Up to here. And stop. That's the right one. And then back again. So that's like a little local train. There we go. Let's add that one in. Let's add some water pipes. There we go. And I'm hoping you're going to... See, they'll start upgrading now because they've got more... Amenities isn't the right word. Services near them, which is a train line to get somewhere. Look, buildings start upgrading. So I quite often get comments saying, how do you get buildings to upgrade? That is it. People upgrade where they live. I mean, they must have been right on the cusp, right on the edge of upgrading. Um, there is a mod you can get, actually. I don't think I've got it on. Uh, that puts a little box underneath every building when you click on the details of a building that shows you a little red and green bar. And the nearer to green it is, the better. And it's got a little section for trash collection, for health, for police. So it will tell you whether they've got what they need in each section. And then when it gets to the max, uh, they then upgrade. So that is pretty good. This one's going backwards and forwards already. Fantastic. Uh, as we always do when we get a new... Uh, a new train line in. Let's follow that across and see what it looks like. Let's wait until he gets out of there. There we go. Let's follow this guy. Excellent. I love checking out the city from low down like this. Still got to sort out the struts on that bridge. Ignore the fact they're not lined up. We'll blame the bridge builder. Here we go. So we're going to go past the ferry terminal. You can look out your window to the right. You see the new side of the city being built up. The blimps going past. At night, this will look really cool as well, won't it? Where are you going? Oh, yeah, you've got to curve around. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Whoa, ho, ho, we're going to need to sort that out. <laughs> that is a dip. There's a couple of dips in there. Then it's going to go underground. At night, this will be cool, won't it, to come across here and follow this. This will be fantastic. Past the beachfront. There we go. Coming up into the station. Bing bong. Excellent. Good. I like that. Um, let's see if we can just run down here and take a look at this. Yeah, that's a bit winky wonky, as I say. Is there a node or something I can... I don't think adjusting that one... No. Would do it. We're adjusting this one. Yes, there we go. Let's level that up a little bit. So it's a bit less Dukes of Hazard to get over there. Uh, this isn't too bad. So we'll put that down. A t no, it's starting to mess up that last one. Okay, we'll leave that like that. Does it have another node there? Yeah, let's slightly raise that. There we go. More of a slope than a jump. I think that's probably... Okay, let's have a look at this here. This is quite a jump here. So if we lower that down, let's just pause the game so the trains don't freak out. There we go. That's looking better, isn't it? Let's look at that at that angle. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Very tight turn, but that's good. Yeah, much better. I'm liking the look of that. And then we've got like a little coastal rail we can set up at some other point. And we now have a connection to over here. Fantastic. So, what are we going to build along here? I mean, we've got lots of need. So, anything we put down at the moment is going to grow. I'm thinking just some offices just because of the noise that you're going to get coming out of this. So, if we put offices all along here and around there, they, they will start growing in straight away. And they'll block the noise. 
There we go. Excellent. Let's speed that up a bit and see them go in. Very good. Well, let's take a look at this area around the train here and see if we can sort of spruce this up a little bit. It feels to me like it needs some paths for people to get across here. So before the buildings uh, build in, grow in, let's just stop that, turn off road guidelines. Oh, too late. Someone's moved in. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, fella. It ain't going to work this time. There we go. Let's put that across there. There we go. You can fill in where you like. Uh, they can easily walk down here to get to the train station. Um, and I feel like we need like a cut through here. And probably one over here as well. Let's go there. Wipe out that building that's just come in. Yeah, that'll be good. So they can easily get through from the other side. Oh, they've got no water. Well, we can fix that. Let's go from there to there. And then go across here. Yeah, excellent. And then we'll do the same this side. There we go. That keeps them all happy. Nice. Everybody's happily moving in. Let's just look at the coverage of... Yeah, we've got no sort of fire station that covers this quadrant down here, have we? So... Oh, I beg your pardon. Medical clinic. So, if I actually did put one down there, would that cover the whole of that section? Not really. What about if it went along here? It sort of goes up to the roundabout and then stops. <laughs> oh, I see. Look, they can't get across to the other side of the road, can they? Because that one goes up there and disappears. Do you know, I've never noticed that before. That isn't actually a proper roundabout, is it? So if somebody from here wants to get over here, they can't. Huh. I wonder whether we should change that for these poor guys and girls that live here. Let's let's do that. Uh, what roads are we are we using here? What we're using slip roads, aren't we? Yeah. So let's change that. Give them access from one side to the other. I think that would work much better. That's this one here. Highway ramp. Uh, I turned off the road guidelines. Let's put them back on again. Yeah. There we go. And then let's go with this one. That can go to there. That can go to there. Oh, that's facing the wrong way. Let's go like that. Yeah, that's better. Even though it's not a round roundabout, it, it works the same way. Excellent. Um, and then if we put one of these down here now, yes, it covers a much wider area. That's better. So let's see if we can squeeze that in. Let's turn that off without destroying too many other things. Let's go there. What? What happened there? Oh, there we go. It just took a while to remove the... <laughs> that was weird. Took a while to remove the buildings there. And let's have a look at the fire coverage. Yeah, that's pretty okay for this area here. Um, the only other thing here was death care. Death care is the same. I tend to put one of these right next door. There we go. Yep. To there. So that covers that okay. Police. Yeah, you're fine. Everybody's fine with that. Uh, schools. Well, we don't actually have... This is all commercial stuff down here, so I don't think we need any schools and such. So then, let's have a look at our uh, bus routes. We've got this bus route. We've got two bus routes that come along here by the look of it. So, they are both going to get a stop outside here. Uh, we go to buses. Excuse me. Where's the bus routes? But, uh, bus routes, bus routes, bus routes, bus routes. So let's add one in there for you and one in there for you. There we go. So they both now stop there. Excellent. Uh, they should stop by the ferries, but they don't. So let's solve that. There we go. They now stop by the ferries. They stop by the blimps. Yep, and then they stop in all sorts of other places as well. Um, our bus stops over here. Yep, we've got that one that stops there. And we were, were we going to put a bus in here? At the minute, we've got everybody walking from here up to there. Which I think is okay. Uh, wasn't there a metro in here? No, we don't have a metro there. We had a metro here, didn't we? That's right. Shall we add a metro into here? That just doesn't seem far enough, to be honest. People will walk quite a distance. I think they will walk from the ferry up to there. I think that's okay. All right, let's come back over to here. So let's check what other... Oh, people are still upgrading. 
Um, we do have a metro line over there. Yeah, there's no metro here. But I think with the buses that we've got, that should be fine. Yeah, I like that. And then, let's have a look back over here again. So what can we sort of put in this section here? I mean, this is a, this is a leisure, a leisure section, a leisure area. Uh, there we go. We've got this one on there. Uh, oh, tourism. I keep calling it leisure. Oh, dearie me. And it's tourism. Let's have a look. There we go. Tourism. This one's leisure. I get the two mixed up. Yes, there we go. That's got the happy face on it. <laughs> Blame it on the cold medicine. So what else can we put in here that will help with the tourism? Well, we do have some other large buildings. We've got 2.4 million that we can spend. Um, I like this archway. And we could sort of put that right in front of this area here, couldn't we? Like that. Oh, I placed it and it didn't place. Let's try that again. Oh, auto save, that's why. Let's see. That goes there. Do you know what? I think that looks quite cool there. I like that a lot. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look, there's some people walking up to here. We're definitely going to get some paths here, so they don't have to walk all the way around. Let's do that now, and that'll sort of flatten this down a bit before we start sculpting the area. Uh, this one here. Should we have gravel paths? Yeah, let's go with the gravel paths. I want to get that right in there, if it will let me. Yes. Mm, didn't really flatten it down, did it? I thought it would, but no. Um, let's add one here anyway. Yeah, I'm going to flatten this section down at the back a bit. Or should I just put... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it like it is. And we're going to put some trees along there. And I think that will sort of make that look a bit better. What are we going for here tree-wise? Yeah, we're going for those ones. Okay, let's grab some of these. Let's turn that off. Uh, brush size single... Let's put like a nice straight line along there. And I think another one there. And just to get that last one at the edge, we'll go for that. And yeah, sort of hides that a bit more, doesn't it? That there's a step up there. Maybe we'll just smooth out this side. Let's give that a smooth. Um, so what size brush do we have? Oh, no. Let's undo that. Brush strength. Brush size single. That's what it was. So let's take that there and just sort of smooth this out a little bit. And that there. Just so there's more of a curve rather than... Yeah, there we go. And I might just do that as well. Let's run the brush along there. There we go. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Not so much of a jump up. And then we could even grab these trees and do a nice tree line walk up here to the end. I think these power cables need to go. Because I had anarchy on and it's messed up those. Let's just pause a sec and we'll probably put those back in in a sec. Let's go from there up to there. And then let's go from... There, up to there. Yeah, that's looking nicer, isn't it? I like that. And then we do want some sort of building in the side here. Yeah, you're going to be complaining about power. Oh, no, you would connect through there. Excellent. Oh, that's good. And this will have visitors as well, the business park, uh, which is good. Let's have a look. How many visitors does that take? 300 Visitor capacity. Excellent. Okay. And then I was thinking maybe sort of a couple of these. An official park in there. I mean, I think we can only build one of these. Much official very park. But if we can sort of get that in the middle here, that would be fantastic. And there's a particular road that I think would be good for that. Not the country road. What is it under? This one? No. Is it under paths? Nope. I can't remember where it is. I know. It's here. Pedestrian roads. There we go. So let's go for zonable pedestrian tiny roads. Zonable promenade. Let's try that one. Uh, 
I mean, if we go straight across, it's going to be off to the side. If we go there... There. And then it will sit in that gap. In fact, if we take that zonable promenade... Down there and down there. There we go. Perfect. We've now got a promenade walk with our nice little park. Our much official park. Unfortunately, I don't think we can have two of those. No, once you've built one, that's it. But we could do a similar thing the other side. So let's go... Hmm, how far across is that? 400 from the... From there. 440, 400. So that's from there to there. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Perfect. And then we'll just go through the middle. So there. And there. Is that right? What gap have we got in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, one of these isn't quite right. I think it's this one. Yep, we need to go one down with that. Yep, there we go, perfect. And then we can take uh, one of these. We've got all these other sorts of statues. and Oh, that's a bit big, that one. What's that one? Let's have a look. Find one that sort of fits in, if we can. Oh, just the wrong size. Is that it in there? Oh, darn it. Oh, this one here. Nope. One of these will fit. Actually, a perfect fit. Locomotive halls. There we go. And that is a place which we can bring visitors in and stuff as well. I think that absolutely fits perfectly in there. Come and see the old trains. Yeah, I like that. And then all it's going to need is a bit of parks and flowers and stuff. And that's really going to make that area... Oh, yeah, I like the look of that a lot. Especially with that over the front. That looks, to me, very nice. Very nice indeed. There we go. Ah, uh, yes again, enjoying the city at night with a sunset in the background. It looks absolutely lovely, doesn't it? I, I really enjoy it. I'm glad they added this to the game where you can see your city at night. So I'm going to have to finish that there. I'm getting really croaky. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to hit the big B with a tea stain to subscribe to be back for some more City Skyline very, very soon. I'm trying to make it uh, every other day as much as possible. Uh, it might just be a couple of days because of the croaks, but we'll get back to it. Oh, there's our new station. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.